Hey guys, it's Travis here with Surge Outdoors Angling. Today we're hitting up North Central Saskatchewan for some brook trout, small little stock trout lake. We're gonna skidoo in because you cannot get in here with a vehicle and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm a little bit late here this morning for a uh, nice uh, morning bite, but I didn't wanna get here too early because I've never been here. I don't want any surprises, right? Wanna be safe out there and uh, make sure I get home all in one piece. Uh, one thing you guys got to do if you're you're like me lots of times and fishing by yourself is let somebody know where you're going what time you're going to be home and uh make sure you always got a lighter heater you know make sure you got your tent with you even if you're not going to use it that day if it's nice and warm because you never know what can happen you might get stuck out there and might have to hunker down so it's all about being safe and uh try and do your best and be successful right you do your homework chances are you'll do good out there um i've never been here before I've done some homework, checked out some maps for what maps there was, and uh, I hope I can get on them. You know, I'm going to be looking for rocks and some vegetation, matted vegetation, probably fish under 10 feet. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Probably going to throw some grubs on with mealworms and maggots. And uh, jaw jackers, my specialty. That's uh, probably going to be the number one thing I'm doing is, is targeting them using uh, the jaw jackers. So stay tuned and... Uh, Let's see if I can show you some nice brook trout. So like I said guys, what I'm looking for is vegetation. I know there's some at the far end of the lake. I can see uh, reeds sticking out and on the map it obviously shows a little bit of veg. But I like this spot here. I'm going to try right here first. Um, this is uh, more of the deep end of the lake. So I think deep water slide into the shallows, right? That's what they're going to be looking to do. If I don't get any here, I'm going to head over uh, down to where I know there's veg. So I'm just gonna pawn some holes here and check it out. So I switched gears a little bit, moved to the other end of the lake where there's more matted veg. On the side of the lake where I was was uh, tall, uh, tall weeds. So I'm gonna give this a little try here. And if we don't get nothing here, we'll move again, we'll see. Move, move, move till I find some fish. That's what you gotta do. Good fish guys, first in the morning, jaw jacker. It's taken a while, move spots once. It's either a brookie or a rainbow. It actually feels decent, you know. Decent, decent. It's one thing I like doing is uh, being mobile until you know where where you see some action some fish right there's nothing nothing worse than setting your shack up someplace and you don't see any fish all day right so spreading out jaw jackers drilling lines of holes to try and find some fish and once you find an area where there is some fish and you see some action then you can set up right because you know that's a highway a highway that those fish are using or or an area that they're feeding right this is a good fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish, wow. I haven't even saw him yet. Saw my swivel, but that's, that's about it. It's 
Doc Trout, eh? Awesome to fish for. Really hope I don't lose this guy. Wow, huge fish. Huge, you guys, huge. I don't know what it was, I saw the head. It's huge, it's big, it's a big one. Oh my goodness. Oh man, it's a tank. It's a tank. It's a freaking monster. Oh man. Oh, it's a monster, you guys. Wow. You guys ready? Woo. Here we go. Look at that slab. Woo wee. Unreal, eh? Big fish. Wow. Look at the colors on that guy. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. Guys are giving me static about putting my fingers in the gills, so here we go. <laughs> here we go, sorry. Beauty. I'm gonna measure them and we're gonna get them back. Okay, let's measure this guy. And then we're getting them back. Plastic board. That is a 24, 24 and a half rainbow. Gone. Way he went. Wow, that fish right there just made it worth it. That was a dandy. I'll show you guys what I caught that fish on. I've been hiding it for a while. <laughs> So I really like using tungsten jigs and grubs, white grub, mealworm. You guys see that? Deadly combo. You can switch up your plastics too, right? You can go oddball, you can go green and orange, green and yellow, pink, white, whatever color you want, chartreuse. Uh, those green jigs have been deadly for me. Green, chartreuse jigs, even the whites and just switch up those grubs and those stock trout, they just crush them. Pretty deadly. So that's why I've been catching a lot of these trout on guys. So now that I caught that one fish here, this one here is at about nine feet. My other one's at about four or five feet. I'm probably gonna slide that other jaw jacker out a bit. Maybe eight, nine feet. Then let's go from there. Looks like on the camera, the bigger fish are definitely rainbows and the smaller ones are brook trout. I switched up colors a few times and uh, no takers so yeah, patience, patience, patience. See what happens here. Got a little guy. <laughs> oh man. That's a brook trout. That's my first brook trout right there. Wow, those are actually beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, go down there. He's absolutely tiny, but. I gotta show you guys this. So he just ate that. Wow. Look at that, eh? I'm just gonna let this guy go. See you, buddy. So I just wanna show you guys a quick little tip when you're using uh, tungsten jigs and plastics, whether it be for perch or uh, stock trout. What you do is your hook gap you're gonna take your pliers and you pry that hook gap up a bit so you take your pliers and you bend that hook gap up right so that way you get more of a, a distance in between your plastic and your hook 
That way, uh, you get better hookups. You can do that for perch too on your tungsten uh, jigs. It helps a lot, especially with plastics, because plastics fill up a lot of that gap, right? See out there. Some guys will bend those eyes and turn them the opposite way than uh, straight across than that one is. That way your jig sits more level. I don't like doing that because a lot of times you'll break the paint or you can even break the eye right off the jig and you just broke an eye off a $5 tungsten jig. So I don't like doing that. I just like bending that hook, bending that hook, a little bit uh, more of a gap for when you're using plastics. Helps for better hookups. So that's just a nice little tip. It'll help you catch more fish for sure. He took it. Didn't get him though. Hey guys, thanks for watching Surge Outdoors Angling. I'll throw all the product links down below in the description. I hope you were able to take something away from, uh, from watching this video. Uh, a couple of hints, tricks, maybe a new location. And hopefully it gets you out there fishing to enjoy the great outdoors. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the ice. Take her easy.